Back to left, area secure. Send it. Good job, gentlemen. All enemy forces are KIA. What's up, guys? It's me, IMC Productions, and today I'll be making a pretty interesting review for the channel. Um, um, I just literally arrived from, from school and I was able to pick up this package that arrived from China. And we're gonna take a look in what it's inside of that box. Um, of course, we're gonna grab our trusty knife and we're gonna open it up carefully. We don't want to break anything inside, okay? Okay. I'm gonna cut it open here. All right. And over here. Alright. Oh wow, <laughs> that was close. Okay. Alright, look at that. It's packaged. It's packaging looks okay. Looks like they really care about their quality of their products. Um, all right, let's uh, get rid of this uh, bubble wrapping, shall we? Yeah. There you go. Um, all right. Let's And yes, this is gonna be a really interesting review because I received uh, this really crazy and unique uh, army men set. Well, it's well they're not army men, but this uh, little figurine set of armed civilians. So yeah, I'm gonna review this today. So let's get into it. All right, fellas, so I finally managed to pull out all the figurines over the back and attach them to their base plates. And not gonna lie, I'm really surprised by the amount of detail in these figurines. So I'm gonna start with my favorite figurine out of the bunch. And it's this fella right here with the AK-47. I know it's a pretty basic uh, figurine and it doesn't have like a lot of gear and stuff, but I do love the fact that he's holding an AK-47. Uh, you didn't see that really often, you know, in plastic army men nowadays. Um, so yeah, this uh, terrorist right here, uh, it also has a chest rib filled with Kalashnikov uh, magazines. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You can see the amount of detail on his face and on his shirt. You can see the other part of the chest rig. Uh, he's apparently wearing uh, some shoes, not combat boots as we commonly see in plastic army men, so that's also a really cool uh, detail of it over there. Uh, then we have uh, this fellow right here with an RPG. He's not very detailed, although uh, the pose looks so natural. Um, and yeah, you can tell it's, a, it's an RPG. Uh, yeah, he's apparently wearing a turban. Here's the other side of the figure. Looks good. I mean, not very detailed, but I mean, it looks looks good. Uh, then we have the machine gunner. I'm not quite sure which gun he's supposed to be holding, but I guess it's an M60 machine gun. Um, You can see that, yeah, you know, his clothing has a lot of detail. Uh, the pose looks natural, so that's that's great. 
This is really cool. Uh, it does not have an enamel belt, so that, that kind of sucks, but I guess it's fine. I mean, the power looks so natural, looks, looks cool. Uh, then we have this one right here, which I decided to call Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Because he kind of looks like Osama Bin Laden, I mean, just look at him. He has a long beard over there. It has a lot of ammunition on his chest rig, or probably it's a suicidal vest. He's holding a Kalashnikov rifle. Um, again, he's wearing some, some ordinary shoes, not combat boots. Here's the back of the figure. Looks good. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> then we have this um, this sort of fellow right here with uh, no chest rig. And this guy is also aiming his Kalashnikov rifle. He's apparently also wearing a turban. So that's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really cool figurine too. Um, then we have this wounded uh, terrorist. I'm not quite sure uh, which gun he's holding. Probably like a sort type of MP40. Or maybe like an AK-74, I'm not quite sure. It kind of looks like an SMG. Uh, he's pretty detailed. I'm gonna lie. I mean the figure itself, because the gun it looks just weird. Then we have this other fellow right here with what it seems to be again the MP40 or like an AK74 and a Molotov cocktail. You can see that the figurine looks uh, pretty detailed. You can see even uh, pockets of, of this terrorist right here. Here's the back of the figure, which is okay. Yeah, oh, let me put this uh, back together. I'm gonna get into detail with the base plates later, uh, but let's just continue with the with the figurines. Um, then we have this other fellow right here which is kind of like standing and guarding with his AK-47 although it does not have a magazine as you guys can see right here here's uh, the back of the figure which looks fantastic oh yeah I also like it a lot this one because it's also you know covering his face that's a really cool detail right there. Then we have this mortar man. Um, which, yeah, it also has a lot of detail, surprisingly. Um, you can see the mortar shell right there. His face is also all covered, so that's cool. The back of the figure, it's not very detailed, but I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's fine. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the figurine looks awesome. And lastly, we have this uh, other walking pose or just guarding pose. Uh, yeah, his face is all covered. You can see all the detail in his uniform. And yeah, he's also uh, holding a Kalashnikov rifle. He's apparently also using a combat backpack a pretty cool feature right there and also a chest rig so yeah this one has a lot of detail um yeah they're really cool figurines uh, this is how they kind of look like on display these were supposed to have like an al-qaeda um, flag but apparently was changed you know 
because apparently this product is also sold on Amazon and you can output those type of things there <laughs> but yeah this is how uh, this uh, group of armed civilians slash insurgents slash terrorists look like on display I mean yeah I think I think they look pretty cool um, these cost me uh, 17 no no that's not 17 I'm talking about uh, these cost me around 10 to 12 dollars including shipping on Aliexpress so yeah I would say it, it was a good deal uh, the scale it's uh, it's actually pretty decent it's not the best but I'm I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's pretty decent for example we're gonna grab our fella right here and we're gonna compare it with uh, with an elite force toy soldier um, so yeah let me just focus that all right there you go focus damn it <laughs> all right so yeah you can tell that yeah uh, they are almost like the exact same scale uh, these are like 48 millimeters tall um, and yeah I'm really I'm really happy with them if I could rate this set it will be probably like a 8.5 out of 10 and not not gonna lie guys I'm really surprised by the by the price I'm really surprised by the amount of detail but I completely hated uh, these uh, these base plates I wish uh, they had their little base plates molded into the soldier and not separated I can understand why they decided to do this because there's people that like to uh, to cut the the base plates of the soldiers and and well you know to make some really cool dioramas with them um, but yeah I will I will have like you know more the fact of uh, of having a base plate molded into the soldier rather than this because it's kind of annoying you know trying to make them fit but I guess it's all right um, yeah overall it's a really cool set and yeah they're pretty much the bad guys I mean these can be terrorists armed insurgents armed civilians uh, narcos maybe I mean you can you could probably customize one of these to look like a narco or whatever um, so yeah they're pretty much the bad guys of, of the modern era soldiers so yeah I, I do really like them a lot um, yeah well this is the review um, I hope you guys enjoy this video because uh, yeah I enjoyed making this video a lot hope you guys do really liked it if you guys like this video please consider dropping a like a comment and also subscribing to the channel um, and as always see you next time